That's when we begin to shoot. Uh, 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 oh, oh, big boom. Big boom! Hello, everybody. We're to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today, we got the 1.6.7 update. Boy, let's get hype up in here because this update is actually adding something in. They call it a small update, but uh, to me, anything that adds stuff to do, I don't consider that small. So, in 1.6.7, the shipwreck got an update. Let's go over what last day on Earth slash Kafir had to say. Today's update is not a big one again. We've relaunched the wrecked ship event. The captain and his team managed to escape from captivity, but lots of valuable resources were left around the wrecked ship. You can pretend, I don't know, pretend to a cargo part. I don't know what that means. Uh, you can do some to a cargo part if you cope with its hungry guards, but there are more of them now. Way more. The event will appear more often. Yes, baby. You'll need to get properly prepared for it. Uh, would you guys say that I'm prepared? AK, couple pistols, pretty good SWAT armor. I think we're prepared for whatever it might have to throw at us. There weren't significant updates last week and some dishonest players started spreading rumors that the dev team went off on holiday. Uh, I gotta go ahead and tra start traveling here. Uh, that they went off on holiday, gave up on the game, that there weren't to be updates anymore. No, the team is not having a vacation. I like to hear that. We keep working hard every day. Just our efforts were focused on the solving technical tasks and implementing them, which is essential for further game development. So we encourage you not to panic and don't blame the team off the point. The work is humming. iOS users updates coming in two to three days as per usual. So that's encouraging to hear that they've been working hard. They've been doing a lot of technical issues. So what... That means to me, someone who I'm actually doing computer science, I'm learning to program right now in uh, college. So to me, if they're taking, like, focusing on technical issues, that means that hopefully the future updates will be a lot smoother and uh, involve more content more often. But we're checking out the new shipwreck update, and we're going to see exactly what this has. An explosive barrel, uh, some chests here. Oh my god, there's a lot more of them. Nah, these guys don't even seem that hard. Although, I do want to, I want to try something here. So if I'm not mistaken, ho oh, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I hope you guys like my idea. Ow! They don't like my idea. I have an idea. This is gonna be amazing, disastrous, both, or all of the above. This is about to get awesome, but I'm excited to hear- What? There's another guy coming from there? I'm excited to hear what you guys gotta say about this update as we check it out. Make sure to let me know. I'm very curious to hear what you guys say, because me, my personal opinion, I'm just a very positive dude, so even when an update is, like, in your guys' eyes kind of bland, even in my eyes, I don't know, I'm just easily excited by stuff, that's just my personality, so apologies if I get too hyped sometimes, it's just who I am. Oh, we got a runner now! We got a runner! Oh, God, okay, and then, oh! No, what I want to do is I want to get them by an explosive barrel, and I want to shoot the explosivo barrel, so that's exactly what we're gonna do here, as they all begin to line up. That's when we begin to shoot. Uh, 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 oh, oh, big boom. Big boom! That's a multi kill. And you know what else I think that is? The first version of splash damage in the game. You know how a couple dev blogs ago or weekly QAs ago, they were talking about how they wanted to, uh, they wanted to incorporate that. They want splash damage weapons to be a thing. Well, these barrels are a thing now, and you can see, these things take forever to open, so... Oh no, okay. Oh no, don't start shooting that barrel. I think after you do enough damage to the barrel, it appears to break Do I'll do a bit more testing with that here in a sec. But, oh my god, this is gonna be so annoying, what the hell? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, there we go, it's sizzling. It's sizzling! Gotta, oh my god, how many of these guys are there? How many do we gotta take out? They just like, respawn like madmen. They were not kidding! When they said this was about to be harder, because these crates, they just take a lot longer to, uh, whatchamacall, to respawn, so I'm just gonna take these guys out the normal way. As soon as they're dead, we gotta start opening right away. While we're opening, we'll take care of ourselves, drink a little agua, drink a little food, but yeah, right off the bat, the update's definitely already looking harder, because these things take forever to open, and I, it looks like what your goal is, you have to make sure to clear out the zombies. It looks like they respawn a lot, kind of like that one chopper event. And uh, we might actually be able to open this. I'm excited to see what kind of loot it has. Hopefully it's good. Don't disappoint me. Get out of here, zombies. I'm opening this thing first. And... I don't like what I see so far. Maybe the more crates we open, the better it gets. And you can see, these guys... I think they're on a timer. I think every once in a while, they just respawn. Luckily, if you're creative with the explosive barrels... Make sure the one runner every once in a while doesn't get you. If you're creative with the explosive barrels, I think you're more than fine taking these guys out. You just have to be ready. As soon as you kill them, you gotta be ready to go. So, as, honestly, as soon as they start getting close to the explosive barrel, 
Uh, you should there we go. It'll run out of health. Boom! They're all dead again. And then we gotta take this opportunity super quick and start looting. Because these things, I don't have an exact time on them. I could start timing it. I think I start opening this one right around 5.15 my time. Because I got like my audio recording here and it shows how much time's elapsed. So it's been right around 15 seconds. I think it takes 30 seconds to open one of these. And it looks like the zombies come back a little- Oh, please let me finish opening before they get here. Please, there's a- Oh, come on. Come on, I think as soon as they hit us, we stop. Please, please! Oh, we got it! Oh my god, that thing actually has good loot! What? Yo, what? But yeah, these- Oh. So this is just a constant stream of zombies. To be fair, if you guys need XP, this might not be that shabby, but... Okay, as soon as I kill these guys, I'm actually going to shoot him a little bit more, but... As soon as I kill these guys, I'm just gonna try to open the crates. That's what you gotta do. Alright, don't waste your time looting ones you already opened. I would say right off the bat, best way of doing this. Kite everybody. Bring them as close to the barrel as you can. Wait for them to get close to the barrel. Wait for the barrel to start sizzling. And don't don't get caught inside the range of the barrel. You guys see the damage that does. Alright, to be fair, the zombies don't have armor. But that thing does a cool 100 damage. Oh my god, you're back already? What the hell? You guys better come prepared for this event. For real. Be ready to take these guys out quick. You don't necessarily need a pistol. You might not even need a pistol for the explosive barrels. I could science that up once all's said and done, but I'm also happy to hear that this event's gonna happen more often. And it's not gonna replace the smugglers camp in my heart. I think we all love Tom and John to a very certain degree. It's not gonna replace my love for them, but it's gonna be something cool to do in the meantime. Please don't get to me. Let me finish opening this. Okay, I, I, I did see what it had, but it seemed okay. And is that all the crates that there are? Is it just three on that side, or how's it work? Y you can see the captain's- What? What? You troll. You troll. Bro, did that just- Okay. Word of warning to you guys. That crate will randomly drop on you. I'm salty! I'm so salty, I just- Oh no, I broke- That's my favorite pen! Oh crap. No, I don't need food, Kafir. I need to go back there. I'm kinda scared. I'm, I'm bringing a gun back there and hopefully some armor. Cause I've heard from you guys, apparently dying under the crate makes your body disappear. So I'm kinda scared. So I'm just gonna put on a couple of extra things. Uh, even some broken down pantalones, I don't care. And I'm just gonna bring- Yeah, I'll bring like one rifle. Oh no, if I lost the military backpack, we're gonna have problems. We're gonna have problems! But I'm happy- I'm happy I died. Okay, it sucks because I lost my stuff, but... Word of warning to you guys. Uh, be careful not to do that. <laughs> that is an awful idea. Don't even go close to there. Although maybe- Maybe that crate dropped and I can loot it now. You gotta look at the positive side here. I may have died a grueling death, but... I might be able to benefit from the grueling death after I come back to haunt my body. So far though, the loot's looking pretty good, man. It just, make sure you're kiting these guys. You don't even have to use that much ammo. You just have to be careful. Sometimes the stragglers start coming towards you and you have to prioritize opening the crates. Please cross your fingers for me right now that this stuff's here, but let me know what you guys think of it. I think we got a good feel for what the thing is like. Let me know in the comments section and Letting me know in the comments already puts you a third of the way into the weekly $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. Winners are being announced tomorrow. Today's actually the last day to enter, so make sure you capitalize. All you gotta do on top of that is make sure that you hit the like button and please let this body be here. Oh, it, it might be. And my crate is there too. Freaking, how'd that thing fall? You trolls. Kafir is a bunch of trolls. That I'm happy though, at least for that. Thank you for letting me get my stuff back. Thank you for giving me my good backpack. I'm just gonna mow these guys down. I'm not in the mood. Oh my god, that's a lot more than I thought there was. But yeah, doing all that stuff will enter you into the weekly giveaway. You can even hit that notification button to know as soon as new videos are out, which gives you the inside edge. You know, you can comment on them early and hopefully get the newest information early as well. I love as soon as something new comes out for Kafir, man, for Last Day on Earth, you know that I'm all over it. But uh, Kafir, if you're watching this, listen, if I'm risking my life to get smashed by this thing, at least make it loot something. That is such a troll, man. I can't believe that happened, but I think that that's everything. All the ones we can loot. I'll, I'll double check here, but I think it looks like there are three that we can loot. This one had okay stuff. Charcoal, surprisingly. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, I might just, I might try to get these guys. Okay, this one's a lot better. We got some copper up in there. I'm not seeing any iron, necessarily, like the smugglers event used to give, but I'm seeing stuff kind of like iron and cotton, not iron, steel, I mean. 
and copper because we can turn copper to iron if you know what I'm saying but it looks like those three yeah you only get three and you do get to kite these guys now I'm in 99 which kind of sucks because that I don't get XP for these guys but I do think that this could actually be a really good XP grind for you guys if you just kind of kite them over to an explosive barrel Shoot the barrel a little bit. I think there are four explosions. I don't remember. I, we, it's either four or five. We definitely had three giant explosions so far. So this is either number four. There might have been a fourth one, so it might be number five. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. And even like if you guys got some ideas for improving it. You know, any feedback you might have. So far though, I I like the loot. I don't... I, it's, it's better than the old shipwreck. That's for sure. I really like that they changed it. I, I The old shipwreck... Was really nice though, because you did get free stuff pretty much. Okay, explosive barrel, please blow up. Yeah! Dude, that could be a lot of XP you get just from blowing it up. The old one was nice, you got free stuff, but I really like that Kafir changed this because they even got rid of a way that they were, you know, making money. They got rid of the shipwreck where people would spend a buck, you know, potentially get crushed, because you could get crushed before too. Uh, but they got rid of a way that they were actually doing microtransactions, which is actually something that I really commend them for. So shouts out to you, Kafir. They actually changed the shipwreck event from being something that you have to pay for to really see the benefit from to being something that you just go to with your own weapons and have fun. So I honestly really love this change. So that's how I feel about it. I feel like the loot could be better, but it looks like it's kind of like the Smogger's event where the three things have three different tiers. I don't know if this is always going to be the same. But from the looks of it, this one's kind of the poopy one. This kind of reminds me of what the green crate was like from the Smuggler's event. Uh, this one down here is reminding me of the yellow one. You know, it has a couple of a little better things, but not much. And then this one, I think, is like the red one. This is the highest level one. And you can see it, dude. That really is the highest level one. That has some good things. So I'm going to start taking what we can. Oh, I'm sorry, burp it a little bit too. Sorry about that. And we might actually need to make a return trip here. I might ditch the rope. I'm trying to keep my ears peeled. So if I hear footsteps like that, I know that they're coming. And that's the thing. You guys want to come here? Now that I've explored it. All right, that's what I like to do too. Every time I do updates out, I don't mind bringing. I don't mind going overkill on it. I want you guys to know how to do it best. Bring as empty of an inventory as possible. Honestly, if you use the explosive barrel trick, you should be able to loot all of these things super quickly. But the problem is I have like, I brought way too much in my inventory to be fair. That's kind of like biting me in the booty right now. Might need to come back here, especially with all of these freaking things coming here. I'm running, especially because my game's starting to lag right now. Don't do this to me, game. Don't do this. So definitely come here with as empty of an inventory as possible so you can grab those crates as soon as you can. And you want to finish before the explosive barrels are out. You could also, I have an idea, I'll show you guys as soon as we get back there, but there's like, uh, we're actually gonna have to figure this out. This is gonna be a good little scientific experiment though. You might, you might not need to kill them for all of the crates. It depends on how long it takes them to run. You guys know what I'm saying? So we can, we just gotta time, we already know how long it takes to open a crate. It takes you 30 seconds, so you gotta have a good amount of clearance there. Uh, but what I'm thinking is if we can try to kite them to like one corner of the map, we might be able, I don't know about those two crates that were kind of in the middle, like the, the green crate as I called it and the red crate, but the yellow crate that we opened up, I think might actually be relatively good to go. So I'm going to, I'm going to look into that. I'm also going to put some of this jazz away into our, uh, into, I got to actually turn this thing on eventually. I just have not had any charcoal lately. I will put these things away and then we'll talk in a sec. All right. And we got, eh, we got a couple pistols. We also got the sledgehammer. I'll probably use the sledgehammer on these guys. I'll put those things there. I might honestly, I mean, we don't need the first aid kits right now for these things. I think we'll be fine without them. I just don't have anywhere to put them. So I guess I'll bring one with us, but this is where we gotta do a little bit of science. You might not even have to kill these. You might have to kill the fast one. That fast runner that shows up every once in a while. You might need to kill him. But yes, man. I'm just so happy. I'm fan freaking tastic right now. That they at least have an event that we can do. They deprived us of Tom and Johnny, the legendary two man. They should open up their own bar. They should have a reality TV show. Those two people were legends. But at the very least, we do have the shipwrecked event. It's a little bit more lonely. A lot more sad, but that's okay, you know? You know, I don't always need friends. I got enough friends in real life, like, uh, 
uh, Marshall and Stanley. You know, those they, they're even helping me right now. Play the game. That is... They're, they're the names of my thumbs. Marshall's the right thumb, Stanley's the left one. Uh... Yeah, you know, it's... I have friends, okay? Don't, don't question me. I don't need to be interrogated. I don't have to put up with this. But here's the science that I was talking about. I want to get all of these guys up as far into this corner as we can. And then I just want to book it to where the crate is. And I want to see what the timing is looking like. So it, it's right up- okay, are there no zombies? Okay, there they're coming, there they're coming, okay. So this is gonna be pretty important. And hopefully it'll be useful for you guys. But this is the giant horde of them, I think. Oh yeah, that's a massive horde, okay. And we gotta get to that lower- you guys can see, they're really slow. So we might have enough time for this. Like I said, I don't think these two crates are gonna have enough time for, but if you position yourself right with this one, okay. It's been- it's at 7.12 right now on my timer. If we can make it to 7.42, that means you guys can actually open this one crate without having to kill a single one of these. Otherwise, and after that, that's actually really good- oh no, we got that straggler coming in there. Uh, we just need 10 more seconds here and we'll make it. It's getting close. This conga line to the right might be what sabotages us, but I think that the guys to the left... Ah... Uh, you know, mmm... It's close. That was like a couple seconds too early. So you might be able to. Other than that though, I- like those- uh, you're gonna have to kill these guys. And what I would say is just make sure you know what you're doing, because after you run out of explosive barrels for the event, it just gets to be a struggle. And I think these guys are just spawning on top of it, but... Literally, you just want to kite these guys as much as you can. You can usually do that through, what, just running around them. Just watch out for the occasional fast runner. And you just want to get these guys as closely grouped as possible. So you want to kite them in a certain way. Where they kind of walk into each other. And they clump closer and closer. So usually, like, doing a circle is actually a really good way of making that, making their circle of zombies a little bit smaller. There we go. And you can see, they're pretty tightly knit right there. That is, I don't even know how many zombies that is. What do you guys think? 20? Bring these guys to an explosive barrel, and they're dead. After that, you just gotta do it super quick, start looting these crates, and I think that's the general tactic for it. Kind of roughly like the tactic I showed, but other than that, I can't show it anymore. We ran out of barrels, so this is definitely something that... You got a limited amount of tries to do it right, or maybe do it to the maximum effect. Technically... What, what is really the right way of doing it, you know? But you got it. There's a couple of ways you got of doing it to maximum effect. And you, you have to use those barrels if you want to maximize it. Because a couple pistols... Like, if you have one pistol, you could realistically do that event. And you guys saw. One pistol got us a couple of pieces of SWAT armor. M16? It's a pretty good deal. A couple of, like, rubber parts. Some aluminum bars, too. So if you guys... Ah! Ah, I wish I brought a bow. Oh, I wish I did some melee on it, too. We'll do that next time. I do apologize. If one of you guys do it, though... For real, leave a comment just saying how you did it if you managed to do it with melee. Although, I don't want to ask you guys to do it with melee. If you if you do want to be ballsy and try it with melee, literally, go there naked. I do not want you guys to lose stuff because I'm asking you to do something. That would be a totally anti fan freaking -tastic move of me. And I, if I'm wishing some fan freaking -tasticness and fan freaking -tastic days upon you that only get better, I, I can't ask you guys to sacrifice your loot. So if you do want to try, please go there naked and try with the melee weapon and see if you can run away. I think you should be able to, because you guys saw the barrel was working, where it, like, we weren't, we, I was shooting it after it was down to, like, 15 health or so. But the thing is, I wasn't doing damage. At that point, like, the quote-unquote fuse was kind of lit, kind of like it was dynamite, and it was doing that kind of, like, one damage at a time, and then that giant circle popped up. So you might realistically be able to melee it and have enough time to run away, which would make it a really easy event if you guys can kite them right. And even for early game, guys... You could actually get some really good loot out of this if you choose the right crate. Now, I don't know if those crates are different, but hopefully since this uh, event will be popping up a little bit more often, I'll be able to go to it more and whatnot. And I just realized that I was supposed to go and grab some stuff from the crates I already opened. That won't be too hard, though. Once you open them, you don't have to wait 30 seconds to open them again. And oh, we got an airdrop. I'm going to go to this one. Uh, sorry. <laughs> that thing... It's, it's gonna disappear like 40 minutes. The shipwreck still takes an hour to disappear, which is nice. But for real. Shouts out to Kafir for making the shipwreck better. You know, at first it was okay because we got three three boxes and they brought it down to one. A lot of people didn't like it. I didn't like it. A lot of you guys down in the comments didn't in the community. 
So I think you guys will like this one, but I'm excited to hear what you got to say. And like I said, improvements and all that jazz. And that will enter you into the giveaway as well. I'll put you a third of the way into there. You guys know the rules, man. I like to say them. Uh, I like to reiterate them a little bit for any new guys who might be around. You know, sorry if it comes off sometimes as annoying. I just want to make sure everyone's got an equal chance again that gift card and having some fan freaking fantasticness spread in their lives. You know what I'm saying? I hope that's cool with you guys. But uh, get out of here, Toxic Spinner. I know you want the merch. The new merch came out. You can't have it. Oh, my God. Is his leg still standing? That's how you know we really hit him with... We literally hit his body off of the rest of his body. That is brutal, dude. Holy hell. How did we manage that? I don't even know. <laughs> that is insane. I love... Dude, that's the one thing I love about kills in this... Listen. I know I like to be positive, but let me just say. You gotta admit... That's satisfying. What the hell? Dude, all the legs like disappeared. You guys see that? It just has like a shadow where the legs would be. That's actually kind of funny. But what was I saying? Dude, the different ways we can kill zombies and watching their bodies just like ragdoll afterwards. You gotta admit it's satisfying. I wish every game did that. I hate the game. Like, I don't hate the games, but like versus like Call of Duty where like your dude just dies and falls to the ground. Deaths like this, you know, a little freedom in the death. It adds some entertainment value. And I like entertainment value. Entertainment value is cool. It's, uh, it's, it's entertaining or something like that. But right, I actually gotta go get the rest of those goodies out of the wrecked ship. But uh, yeah, shameless self-plug as always. I'm the most shameless there is. You know, actually no, there's a, there's a Netflix show called Shameless. So I don't think I'm the most shameless, but let's go with number two. Now you're the number two slot. But yeah, uh, if you guys are interested in anything like that, link will be in the description. If you aren't, no worries. I don't think less of you. I don't... You know, I don't have less fan freaking tastic wishes for you guys. I'm still hoping nothing but the best. But if you guys do want to check it out, uh, support supports the channel if you guys do buy anything. If you don't, you're still supporting the channel by being an amazing person that continues to check out the videos and shouts out to you guys. You the real ones, man. Did you guys hear that noise? That was the noise of the crate dropping again. You guys hear that? That was weird. I heard it drop again. Uh, is it just every time we walk into the map, does it just keep dropping on our dead body? That is demented, game. How could you do that to me? You're doing me dirty. Okay, I really don't want to deal with this horde. See, if I had, like, a way of dealing with this horde in, like, big numbers, maybe I'd deal with them. You guys can hear them. Even when they get a little bit close to us, how loud they get. Yeah, that's scary. That's scary stuff. Uh, okay, let's take what we can get. I uh, might try to come back for the rest of those goodies, but other than that, we got most of what's important. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's start making our way back. <laughs> I'm not... If there was, like, a grenade I could throw, or another barrel, you know I would destroy that, like, 20-man group of zombies. But other than that, that wraps up this event. Unless there's a chopper we can go to, I think that's gonna wrap up our adventures for now. I'll, I'll travel home and see, and we'll see. But in case it does wrap up the adventure, they want to say good luck to you guys getting the shipwreck event. Hopefully you guys get some better stuff. Hopefully we can still get steel out of this. That's the one thing that made the smuggler's event really good. Is that you got steel out of it steel plates steel stuff like I know we can get copper ore I know that the smugglers event gave copper ore. maybe I just didn't get lucky maybe I didn't happen to get steel it happens but I'm crossing my fingers then hopefully we get some good or at least you guys get some better stuff than I did if you guys get some steel that would be great steel is always awesome but let's check not if you're thirsty I could care less. actually I'm a little bit thirsty too luckily I got oh no I'm out of coffee <laughs> got some iced coffee man and it's empty. It's just ice. That's the most disappointing thing to happen to me all day. But yeah, it's like no chopper event, so that's all good. But yeah, that's gonna go out right of me for now. Thank you guys all the time for watching. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. The it gets better from here on out. Best of luck in the giveaway. Winners are drawn tomorrow. Random video from last Saturday to this Friday will be picked. You guys can go answer out old videos as well. And um, best of luck in that. Best of luck joining the chopper squad. I want all of you guys to get a chopper. However the hell you're trying to get it. If you're trying to open up some engineer crates. If that's your deal, go ahead. You can do that. There's a way to get some of those free ones. Link in the description as there always is. Uh, what should we call? There's, uh, I don't know why I went here. The bunker. Best of luck to you guys if you're going to the bunker. Opening up those crates. And hopefully you can get the good good. The good good that you need. But other than that. That is going to do it for real for me this time. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See you.